Hello everyone, this is Jaktar Shergal, insurance broker. Today I'm going to discuss chapter 4 of the insurance buying process in Rebo level 1 exam preparation. So in this chapter we will explain the duty of brokers to the clients and state of duty of care principle and outline the causes of errors and emission insurance then uh, we list the general insurance process and uh, describe the importance of the needs assessment process and explain why client must provide accurate information on their applications and be responsible for their decisions and describe the renewal process and list two ways insurer must uh, insurers want claims to be processed so first of all what is the duty of the insurance broker duty of the insurance broker to the client and to the insurance companies so to the client duty to the insurance broker is to provide uh, coverage from different insurance companies uh, best coverage and best rates possible and explain all the coverages and uh, exclusions to the client so that they can make a uh, better decision how to go forward and also uh, errors and emission claims so if the client gives information and uh, and broker do not provide the same information to the insurance company there can be errors and in emission insurance like for example if the client says that they have a child and they want to get insurance uh, for uh, for the child and but they are the owner of the vehicle and if the broker tries to give them better rate by putting the father as a principal driver and uh, daughter or son as a occasional driver when actually the son or the daughter is the main principal driver so in that case if there's any accident occurs there will be a big issue and can be a error and mission insurance claim uh, against the brokerage and against the uh, broker as well so it's very important to uh, do your due diligence and provide uh, your duty to the clients so and uh, also on the other hand the broker also has responsibility to provide the facts provided by the client uh, to the insurance company on the insurance application so so shouldn't hide any facts just to write the business because sometimes broker can see that by hiding information or not providing sufficient information they can write the insurance business which will be cheaper for the client and he can make he or she can have the client but it's a lose-lose situation in the clay in the, at the time of claim it can be denied plus when uh, clients say that they never were given proper information the broker can be sued as well so how so so failure to provide proper coverage failure to advise clients of policy exclusions failure to place coverage or placing it too late or making mistakes in coverage not correctly advising as to the availability of coverage can um, have uh, error and mission insurance against the brokerage and the broker and uh, how to minimize it you have to provide proper coverage and explain to the client and uh, get the proper information and do the needs analysis what the client need so then you can provide the coverage because this insurance is not like a commodity like you buy from the store you pay the price like when you go buy gas at a gas station so you pay the price is so people go to different gas station if the price is cheaper but in insurance is not based to, uh, totally on price yes price matters but uh, every clients needs are different and their insurance needs are different and what kind of coverage they want what coverage they de decline and their age factor their driving record or in a property case what kind of property is that how old so it's many factors uh, determine the pricing so it's not a simple 
as you can uh, sell it like commodity so it's not a commodity and uh, so to minimize uh, uh, the insurance uh, claims like uh, errors emission insurance claims so broker has a big responsibility to uh, notify the insurance company with all the information they have and also to the client what they can get and what if they are missing anything better is to document everything uh, as a client says if the client declines something make sure it's document even, even it's orally you have to document on your system and also it's good idea to send one letter to the client that this coverage we offered but you declined so that we are clear at the times of claim and so duty to the insurance companies so when uh, client give the information and uh, and provide that to the insurance company properly so that uh, insurance company can make a proper decision on uh, underwriting the case so we cannot uh, hide for our own purpose to write more business uh, and also try to give the client cheaper rates by hiding some facts so we have to be uh, as a broker uh, open to the client about all the coverages and exclusions and why coverage is uh, uh, this way or that way and same thing provide all the pertinent coverage to the insurance company in case of uh, like uh, if there's any extra driver in the home or uh, any driver who had license suspended at home or um, many factors which are required in the application so it has to be uh, true and if there is a misleading information insurance company can decline the coverage and brokerage is on the hook under the error and mission insurance error and mission insurance is something just like any professionals doctors accountants lawyers have their uh, professional liability coverage same thing uh, uh, brokers have their errors and mission insurance provided by the brokerage to the all all their employees so in courts consider insurance brokers professional just like other professionals like doctors engineers and accountants so so you have to act professionally so broker is a first line underwriter so even though we say i said in previous chapters that insurance companies have underwriters who issue the policies and analyze it but broker is the first line underwriter because uh, uh, we do the need analysis from the client and what what they require then we do the quote if it's possible on the our, our quoting software or sometimes we have to send it to the insurance company to get a quote if it's a bigger case and uh, and then we have to uh, bind the coverage so once we give the insurance slip to the client or binder to the client for property or confirm insurance to the dealer then the client has insurance so if uh, if that coverage is not properly written and not properly underwritten and it's not coming under insurance company's uh, binding authority or, or guidelines that coverage can be denied and insurance company refuse to issue the policy and that liability comes to the brokerage and to the broker so that's very important so when you are broker you are first line underwriter when you you write something or giving insurance slip that means you followed all the company guidelines insurance companies and brokerage guidelines and you analyze the risk that's why you're giving insurance slip so insurance company underwriters once they see your complete application they just issue the policy so actually you as a broker are as a first underwriter to underwrite the business and other is broker contracts broker contracts are like uh, it's between insurance company and the insurance brokerage so insurance brokerage have to have at least insurance contract with the two or more companies so once uh, they have those companies there's clear guidelines from insurance companies what kind of risks they want to ride and what kind of authority they give to brokerage sometimes there's a limit of binding authority you mean how much you can write on your own like especially for car insurance or simple home insurance we can write on our own for but sometime high value homes or some high value cars 
or bigger cases we need to call the insurance company to get the binding authority and also uh, uh, there's all number of factors like uh, for how long the contract is if the contract is cancelled then what can be in the next uh, uh, reasons like authority commission how much commission they pay and billing procedures is monthly payment allowed or is one time payment or there can be a uh, agency billing and we can get third party uh, billing as well and claims handling how they will handle the claims is the brokerage going to handle the claims or they insurance company in most cases 99 percent the insurance company handles the claim directly and the contract get cancelled termination what's the procedure for termination mostly when insurance company cancel the contract the clients uh, are with the brokerage and the insurance company cancel the policies of the clients at the renewal of their policies and the broker has the responsibility to send the letter to the clients and also insurance company that uh, their policy will not be renewed so that they can get the coverage ahead of time before the expiry of the uh, insurance policy so then there's the insurance buying process so in that cases first of all we have to when a client calls we have to get needs analysis what they need for car insurance especially like let's say how many cars they have how many drivers where they are insured and if they have any claims or convictions when they get license or and if they have uh, so all that detail and you need it then based on that you have to present the coverage to the client then once the client agrees for the coverage then you have to complete the application and then uh, send the application to the insurance company for issuing the policy and you give the insurance to the client for 30 days or insurance binder for 30 days and then um, premium payment client sometimes pay upfront first and last month's payment sometimes mostly we get a void check for good companies and company pick up the first and last month payment uh, from their clients uh, account when the policy is issued and then um, uh, broker handles that uh, money with the client give for down payment and and give it to the insurance company so that's uh, all these uh, total seven steps there so you had to go through and uh, then uh, also broker uh, binding authority uh, like binding authority like mostly as i said in the uh, before that like broker has authority to issue insurance slip on most simple cases where we write auto and home insurance uh, we can give the insurance binder and uh, then client is po have coverage even though there's no premium paid and as long as you sign the application and give the void check or pre-authorized payment form and the uh, business is under the within the guidelines where you are allowed or you have authority to issue insurance slip you can have and send insurance slip to the client and client will have coverage right away and policy will be issued later on but in some cases binding authority is not with the broker when there's a higher value home or higher value car or bigger case where we have to send the application to the insurance company and get the code and um, get the code first then send the application and after all that paperwork complete we send it to the insurance company and they issue the binding uh, and then we tell the client that you have coverage and in some cases when there's a, a big flood in the area or fire insurance company send the memo that uh, the binding authority is, is not there so we cannot write business in those areas if you forget to check the email or message and you still end up binding the coverage that can become a error and omission claim on your brokerage and yourself and the company will not be responsible for those claims where they didn't give you the binding uh, so then so that's called uh, do, so do not exceed the binding authority stay within the binding authority so when you do check the codes there's a uh, lots of messages on compute code software where we do the codes so you have to check those red messages very carefully and if you are okay to issue the insurance slip or is there any messages coming or you have called the insurance company to make sure 
uh, all those uh, questions are answered uh, before you can issue the policy and so premium payment is very important so and that payment has to be provided to the insurance company so broker uh, work as a mediary mediator between the client and the insurance company so any money received from the client should be forward to the insurance company properly and uh, so that's uh, so when renewing the policy so mostly auto and home insurance uh, uh, the regular companies renews automatically and renewal comes four to six weeks before the policy is issued and then uh, the client got notified for the new claims and uh, uh, sorry new premium payment and the coverage and uh, some cases on high value homes or some special uh, cases special uh, special policies which we wrote with the uh, MGAs or uh, brokers uh, wholesale brokers there we have to every year update the insurance company uh, or those mgas with any new information if there is possible before they issue the policy so if the policy is cancelled then as i said before and then client has to be notified prior to the expiry of the policy that their policy is not renewed and they have to look for insurance coverage somewhere else or we give the alternative quote with the different insurance company and uh, so another thing is profitable profitability of renewal business so we are writing a good business for the insurance companies whereas we try to give the best rates to the clients as well so it's quite a balancing act and we make uh, more money on the renewals than writing new business because how much new business you can write so do, the clients you write uh, is if they stay on your book for year after year that means there is a profitable business if the clients are cancelling policies mid-term like after a few months or after rene renewal then you keep have, have to write keep writing more clients then it's not a profitable business so plus uh, number of claims coming that's how the insurance companies check our business that's how the other insurance companies give contract to the insurance brokerages who have better profitability uh, profitability of renewal premiums or they have good book of business then you get more insurance companies under your contract so and handling of claims so there's two ways either policy hold, holder directly report the claim to the insurance company and, uh, and write the claim there and settle with the adjuster or they call the broker and the broker then update the insurance company with all the pertinent information uh, to start the claim and uh, so, so once so how the claims is uh, uh, processed uh, like obtain loss details then make sure verify coverage the client have an insurance or not if they don't have insurance tell the right way there's no policy in effect it's cancelled or something else or the coverage missing sometimes people have a um, at fault claim single vehicle they want to make a claim at, and but with the third party coverage there is an, a no claim paid for at fault claim so you have to tell the client upfront the claim uh, coverages and if it's a deductible so that they can avoid small claims let's say if the deductible is thousand dollar and the claim is maybe eight hundred dollars or five hundred then there's no point going for a claim then just submit the claim and monitor and help the client on the process if they get rental car or not or um, how if there are any issue that you have to call the insurance company and claims department to facilitate the client so the claim process goes smoothly for the client and then close the file no matter how big is the claim small or big so you have to talk to the client with sympathy and empathy and understand the situation and then guide properly so never take it easy or uh, so work carefully like let's say some client call or got into accident first of all you get to ask that are you okay everything okay you got injured or are you fine don't start asking about how big the claim is or how much damage so first ask for the clients well-being when you hear the cl client call for claim so 
Yeah, so this is the chapter number four. So you have to make sure uh, all those terms in this chapter. Adjuster, adjuster is the person who is uh, handle the claims at the insurance company, and adjusting is the claim process. And binding coverage is when you give the insurance slip after all the pertinent uh, work done, like writing the insurance application and sending to the insurance company and then you get the insurance slip to the client and um, broker contract is between the insurance company and the insurance brokerage and claimant is the policy holder or the person who makes the claim declaration is the policy document where there's all clients name address and effective date expiry date and coverage is written on that declaration form Errors and remission is the insurance, uh, professional insurance for the brokerage, just like doctors, engineers, accountants have for their professional liability insurance because the courts do consider insurance broker as a professionals and they uh, want to be at the highest standard to work. So lapsed policy when policy is canceled and that's called lapsed policy and needs analysis assessment when we make sure ask the client all the information what they need and what they require and how much coverage they need and all that process home insurance car insurance how many vehicles drivers they have and that's called needs analysis and uh, renewal is when policy is renewed after one year sometimes there's six months policy too so when the policy is renewal renewed and uh, that's called renewal process so then client get the new rates but the coverage is uh, offered by the insurance company so auto and home insurance uh, are renewed automatically in most cases so if you write a contract if you want to cancel the policy at the renewal time so you have to send the cancellation by yourself before the renewal start it will never cancel automatically some people say that they never sign a new contract but they got to know that uh, it's a automatic renewal for auto and home insurance so you got to pay attention to accept the renewal is automatic and you get the papers in the home but also you get uh, uh, if you don't want to get the insurance you can send the cancellation beforehand so so in the review quiz questions there's a one question is that in an insurance transaction a broker owes the primary duty to the clients and second question is which of the following duties does a broker owe to insurer they represent and telling the truth about risk to the underwriter and not withholding key information concealing key client information from an insurers could result in the broker losing the job why are brokers sometimes referred to as frontline underwriters Brokers have the first opportunity to assess client's risk. That's why they call the first line underwriter. Which of the following statements regarding error emission is incorrect? So, broker makes a mistake on a policy. The policy holder could suffer a financial loss. That's not an incorrect statement. The courts do not impose a high standard of duty of care on brokers. That's incorrect. Which of the following is not a cause of an e and of claim against a broker or brokerage? So it's a failure to advise underwriters of policy exclusions affecting coverage, failure to recommend adequate coverage for the client's needs, failure to place coverage or placing it too late, mistakes in coverage so these are the questions you have to answer so and uh, there's a monica declines her broker's recommendation to buy replacement cost coverage on her building to reduce the chance of an e and o claim the broker should document Mon monica's decision in her file and send a letter confirming the same a bro broker contract is a contract between insurance company and an insurance brokerage and selling insurance is mostly about understanding the client's requirement and recommending appropriate coverage. But your statements best describe the general insurance needs assessment. 
asking questions to understand the nature of the risk and the client's objectives when buying an insurance. So these were some of the questions. I, I gave some answers. I think a couple of questions I didn't give answers. I just read it. So you can go through those questions again. So I hope you learned something in this ch chapter. And uh, if you have any questions, you can comment. But please go through your material. This is just a help or some information from my side to understand the material more in simple words. So you have to be prepared on your own from reading a book and going through these questions and uh, terms. So thanks for watching and I'll bring another chapter number five next time, hopefully next week. So until then, I'll say so. So congratulations on studying for a Rebo level one and it's very good business and uh, i'll see you in the next video or will you'll hear me in the next video in a week time thanks for watching bye bye